Okay. Good morning, everyone. How are you? So today is the twenty seventh of November, and this is on Monday. So to um, DTS graduate and also KTS Academy members, this is a KTS weekly analysis on every Monday. So I will be sharing the weekly and daily and four hour time frames to select the best pair potential best pair to uh, monitor and also take trades. So as for me, um, for the last couple of days, I have been really sick, um, typical flu, like symptoms like a slight fever and uh, feeling shivery and like a, you know, runny nose and sore throat and all these. But I hope, and I'm recovering right now, I feel much better than yesterday. Yesterday I was, I was like dead, but today I feel much better. So that's why I decided to come here and uh, share my analysis at least, because towards 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 the day today, afternoon, evening time, I may be uh, dead again. So yeah, at least this morning I feel a bit fresher. So that's why I decided to do this. Um, so uh, yeah, and in terms of the projects, um, so updating video lessons, I have been sharing the Forex tester back testing and also uh, more entry exit uh, cases and examples uh, in the month of November. And in the month of December, I continue to share more back testing uh, you know, uh, examples, uh, entry and exits. So I hope you continue to uh, watch those videos and uh, learn from uh, learn learn from them, and also uh, money management book. Right, uh, this is still working on chapter three, and um, yeah, I think I will finish writing um towards the end of December. I think that will be total of uh, five chapters, and chapter three is almost ending, so it's also coming along. And then after I finish this book, then I will be writing the book of advanced price action videos. So that's also on my list for uh, next year. And then Ichimoku original book review. So I have those Ichimoku original books in the, in the back like this. So um, I have been, uh, I will be sharing exactly how Goichi Hosoda was explaining about the Ichimoku and what kind of chart he was using and how he explained. I am replicating these charts and uh, I will be sharing those uh, information so that you know, um, it it uh, it gives you more like a like a real like a, like a real like a, you know uh, like a or original like teachings in this way. So that's also on my project list. And as I have new project, I update it, update them in Discord. So uh, please uh, continue to follow the announcement uh, channel in Discord group. Okay, so. Yeah, I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're all healthy and uh, safe. Looks like, uh, again, COVID or flu has been around throughout the world because weather is changing, I guess. So I hope you're all well. Okay, so now uh, let me share trading view. And uh, so as usual, I put the weekly chart on the left side. In the middle is a daily chart and the right side is a four hour chart. And I have already scanned the charts and I have selected the trending pairs and also best pairs. The best pairs for the heads up is Euro CAD, Pound JPY, and Pound CAD. So um, I will be doing all the pairs analysis, including these three pairs. So first, a Euro USD. This one is basically ranging and I don't feel really comfortable to trade on this one because um, daily chart, is uh, near the resistance level of 1.0944 and four hour is a bit choppy too. Like this is not bullish in the wave. So you may break the resistance. If it does, I think this may be good, but um, I am not really sure if it breaks or not uh, because it's Kumo is uh, Senko Span A is flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikou Span touching, Chikou Span tracing also. So as, as Chikou Span keeps tracing the four hour, uh, this week, the market may be bearish. And as a result, you may see double top in the market may continue range or reverse downtrend. 
So unless it breaks the resistance level of a uh, four hour resistance, 1.0966, I don't feel comfortable to trade. So let's monitor and see if that happens. And the Euro JPY is also range near the resistance level of 164, the round number. And daily Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, four hour Kumo just twisted, and this is newborn Kumo. So um, I don't, let's see, let's see if it breaks that resistance, then this may be good. But momentum, I think is really weak. So we better focus on some other beta pairs to monitor and trace. And next, Euro CAD is one of the best pairs for me this week because it broke the resistance zone of 1.4879 and 1.4825. And the target is uh, 1.5114. And we have around uh, 150 pips of uh, room to trade, 160 pips of room to trade. So that's good. And also, daily chart is bullish. As you can see, the Kumo single span A is up. Kijun Sen is also bullish and Chikou Span above candles. And it looks like the market has been supported by the Tenkan Sen once, twice, three times. So I think this one is good. And Kumo is not too thin, but rather Kumo is getting thicker and thicker. So I think this means that the market potentially goes bullish and continues its uh, uptrend. Regarding four hour, it's completely flat. So in this case, I simply focus on the daily time frame to follow. So yeah, Euro CAD can be potentially a good market to keep watching. So target again is 1.5114. Okay, and next one is uh, Euro AUD. Euro AUD is also near the resistance and it has been supported by the weekly trend line once, twice, three times, four times. And it looks like this is now forming ascending P wave on the weekly chart. So my long-term view is bullish and see if, if the market breaks 1.6845. And until it breaks, the market may be spiky or range. In fact, on the daily chart, it's range completely in too choppy. Four hour is almost like bearish. So. Yeah, I think it's better to just wait for the probably the breakout or at least four hour bullish trend and then expect the breakout of 1.6845. So let's continue to monitor because the breakout may happen within this week or next week. So we will see. But Euro AUD as for today or yeah, I would say this week, I don't think it will break that resistance. Just my feeling because weekly Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat also. So we will see. Okay. But, you know, as I say, I say like, uh, this, is, this is also still, you know, not a uh, best market, but you have to monitor every day anyways, because we never know when the breakout happens. It may happen today or tomorrow, and you don't want to miss the opportunities. So even if I say this is range, this is not a good market to monitor, this is not a good market to trade. You have to monitor every day, at least once, twice per day. So next one is Euro Pound. Euro Pound is completely ranging, but rather this is not more bearish in the four hour. So weekly chart is too choppy and uh, it's just ranging. It looks like it broke the weekly trend line bearish last week. And uh, daily chart is completely ranging, Chikospan touching, Kumo is flat, Kijun Sen flat. So there is no trend. The only trend is the four hour downtrend. That's why I put a red flag on Euro pound. So uh, for now, my view is bearish. And the target in this case is the weekly Kijun Sen. This is called the Kijun Sen retracement strategy. Whenever Kijun Sen flat, then Kijun Sen Kumo flat, then Kijun Sen becomes the mid price of the range. And it happens on any time frames. So now, the target is 0 0.86229. And we have a potential uh, pips of um, 46 pips to trade. So it's not a lot, but uh, we'll see. Four hour at least is bearish. So let's see if it goes down continuously. So next is Euro Swiss franc. Euro Swiss franc is completely ranging now. Uh, weekly flat, daily flat, 
and the four hour is also flat. Technically, daily chart, Kumo Senko Span A is bullish, Kijun Sen is also bullish, but it has been too choppy. So I regard this as a range, rather. So I don't think the market, I think the long term, since daily is bullish, I think it goes bullish this way. With At least within today, I think this candlestick will close with a bullish bar but uh, not sure if it breaks that resistance. To me, since weekly is also flat, I think the market continue range. And tomorrow, I think the daily become flat. Oh no, tomorrow daily will be bullish. And the day after, and Thursday, Friday, Kijun Sen will be flat. So until, unless the market breaks the resistance level of 0 0.9684 within today or tomorrow, Kijun Sen will be flat for the rest of the week. And this may be difficult to trade. So next one is the pound USD. Pound USD seems to be bullish nicely. Uh, for, especially four hour looks good. So weekly chart shows that the market broke the Kijun Sen, which was a target I mentioned, uh, 1.255, sorry, 1.2588. It's breaking bullish. So now looks like it's going up to the resistance of 1.3140, that's an ultimate target. And daily broke the Kumo, and Kumo already twisted bullish, and four hour is also bullish. So pound USD could be also one of the best pairs. So let me mark, let me turn this to light blue also. Four hour Kumo is okay, this is not too thin. It's not too thick, it's getting actually thinner, looks like, but um, yeah. I would say this is okay, Kumo. So I continue to follow bullish trend. So pound USD looks good. The potential target, sorry. The potential target is, uh, I think here, 1.2746. And we have a potential pips of uh, 122 pips to trade. So pound USD could be one of the best pairs. Let's monitor closely within this week. And then pound JPY also looks one of the best pairs because weekly is bullish and the weekly broke the resistance of 186.69 and it's going up as expected. And now it's reaching the next target of 188.84. Uh, so, and I think it breaks because the weekly is bullish now. So, um, yeah, I think um, pound JPY looks very good. So let's continue to monitor the chart. And then pound CAD looks to be one of the best pairs too, because um, it, um, so weekly there was, okay. So this one, there was a Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen gold crossing this week above the Kumo on the weekly, which is good. And then also daily shows bullish. The price above that Tenkan Sen, it's all bullish. And four hour is also bullish too because of the breakout just earlier. So in four hour Kumo thick and daily Kumo is also thick. So pound CAD can be one of the best pairs. That's why I put light blue on this one too. Okay, and then the uh, next one is the pound AUD. Pound AUD is completely ranging on the weekly, daily, four hour. So I do monitor chart every day, but I don't think we can have opportunity to trade. In the long term, like I draw this uh, ascending trend line, it has been supported by the yellow a trend line on the weekly, but I think it ranges, ranges, and we never know when the market breaks the one point nine three. Three five, so at least four hours should be bullish, and daily follows bullish. Then it may happen, but let's see. Okay, next is the pound Swiss franc. Pound Swiss franc is also a very tricky market. Uh, I marked red because four hour shows bullish, but um, daily chart it broke the kumo, but it has been too choppy. And the weekly is completely ranging near the Kijun Sen too. So I think this continues to spike this week. So you can follow four hour bullish trend, but you may not be able to expect bigger pips to capture on this one. 
So next is um, USJPY. This pair is also range retracing. Uh, last week, there was a big pin bar. And this week so far has been bearish. Weekly flat, daily flat, and four hour is also uh, range below well, within the Kumo. Daily chart also goes within the Kumo. So I don't think USJPY will be tradable this week. And then USCAD also the same, like uh, this one in retracing and daily chart is now touching Kumo. Four hour is uh, was bearish last week, but today it, it's retracing and it's now flat. Yeah, so the market may be resisted by 1.3653 in four hour and it may go bearish. So if it does, I think I will follow downtrend and expect the Kumo breakout on the daily chart and target will be on the weekly Kijun Sen of uh, 1.3496, but uh, we will see. Yeah, Kijun Sen retracement is powerful, but the only thing is that the momentum is weak. So I say target is 1.3496 as the Kijun Sen retracement strategy, but uh, we never know how many days, weeks it takes to reach there. So yeah, that will be for the long term anyways. Okay, next is uh, USC Swiss franc. This pair is also um, kind of choppy, too choppy, I think. Weekly is, uh, weekly is bearish. It broke the Kijun Sen and now it's going down. Daily chart, Kumo is bearish, Kijun Sen flat. Yeah, Tenkan Sen down, Chikou Span below candles. So set as a winning the trace. And daily chart is also now near the support. So if the market breaks the four hour or the daily support of uh, 0 0.8807, then this can be one of the best pairs. Uh, but since weekly is ranging, and this is also the Swiss franc pair, the market may be too choppy. So I monitor, and if this is the only pair that is trending, I may take it, but if not, I don't think I will take this one this week. We'll see. And then next is um, AUDUSD. This pair is now reaching Kijun Sen as a target, uh, 0 0.6586. Date is bullish, but in, in four hour is now flat Kumo, flat Kijun Sen, Chikou Span touching. And that's why I didn't mark um, you know uh, red or light blue on this one. Yeah, this I think this market is a bit too choppy for me. Since it's reaching the Kijun Sen, it may reverse. It may go down from here. So let's see. I do monitor chart every day on this one too. And in case if the market continues bullish, I follow it. But for now, I have I as far as see, I I can uh I can tell that there are some better pairs to trade. So yeah, we'll see. And next is um, AUDJPY. So AUDJPY weekly is bullish, and that's why I put purple after the breakout of the inside bar from the week of the 2nd of October, and it broke that resistance. And then now in terms of the lower time frames, it's retracing. And uh, so yeah, unless it breaks 98.61, yeah, this may be also tricky. Now we have a new inside on the weekly chart from the week of uh from the week of 13th of November. So let's monitor and see if it breaks. Okay, next is um ADC AD. This pair is also range to me. The price is between Kijun Sen Kumo on the weekly chart, Chikos Pan touching. So lower time frames can be very spiky. And daily chart, Kumo is bullish, but Kijun Sen flat. And it has been ranging last week. Last week we broke the resistance on um, on uh, which, which date? Uh, it's a 20th of November, but now it's range. Four hour is too choppy, so yeah, I don't feel comfortable to trade on this one so far. And next is ADC's franc. This pair is also very spiky now. It's all range, so I said that this can be bearish if the market will be resisted by the descending trend line, because then it may form the descending P wave and hopefully goes bearish. 
but looks like now it's breaking a descending trend line. So now I take out these lines, take out this arrow, and I regard this market as range now. This is now, yeah, still, it can be still like a descending P wave in this, like in this picture on the weekly time frame. Let's see. I see market as this descending P wave now, but I will see. Either way, I think it breaks, I think it takes time for the market to decide which way to go next. So simply monitor every day and see how it plays out. Okay, next is uh, CADJPY. This pair is also very choppy for the last couple of months. So no trend, no trace. As you can tell, at a glance, it's too choppy, right? On a daily four hour. So this is not tradable. And CADC's franc is also very choppy. This is near the support, but um, yeah, now it's coming, becoming too choppy. Kijun Sen flat on the daily. Oh, but one thing I just realized is that the uh, there was a Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen death cross below Kumo. So this can be powerful. So that means this week or in the month of uh, December, the market may break the support and continues bearish. So my view is still bearish on CADC's franc. So let's see if it happens. And also in terms of the daily chart, I just found that the, um, the previous support level 0 0.6475 is now becoming the resistance. So if, if the market doesn't close above that level and it looks like it has been also resisted by the Tenkan Sen on the daily chart, so if it goes bearish this week, then I think that's a good sign that the market continues bearish to, to uh, 0 0.64, which is a target, the round number. So yeah, let's see if it goes bearish or not on CADC's run. If it goes bullish, then no trade. I think the market will be too choppy. So Last one is the Swiss franc JPY. This pair is bullish on the weekly. Kumo is also thick and getting bigger. So in the long term, it's bullish. However, daily chart is too spiky, four hour two. Looks like the Swiss franc pairs are now becoming very tricky. So we better focus on some other pairs. So that completes my analysis on the Forex pairs. So again, the best pair so far looks like Euro CAD. Uh, Euro CAD is one of the good pairs to monitor and potential trade because again, it broke the resistance zone and um, there was a, you know, Kumo is bullish on the uh, daily chart, Kijun Sen bullish and Chikou span above the candles. It has been supported by the daily Kijun Sen. So this seems to be bullish to me. And Pound USD is also bullish uh, based on the four hour. Uh, Kumo is bullish, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, both up, Chikou span above candles. And uh, it broke the Kijun Sen on the weekly, so it looks like it's going bullish now. And Pound JPY is also bullish on the weekly chart, and Kumo is getting thicker. And uh, yeah, yeah, Pound JPY, Pound pairs seems to be bullish, so let's see. And Pound CAD also is not bullish. Uh, What's good about Pound CAD also is that I think I mentioned that already, but there was a Tenkan Kijun Sen gold across above Kumo on the weekly chart. And that's why I think it's bullish. I think it potentially breaks the descending trend line on the weekly chart and goes bullish. And daily chart is now up four hour is also bullish. So if you get the three confirmations on the lower time frames, I think this will pair will be tradable. So in this case, uh, you may wonder, so I have this descending trend line on the weekly chart. So is it better to wait for the breakout or not? This uh, weekly descending trend line. And in this case, uh, yeah, it could be better because it has more than three touches. One, two, three, four. And if it touches this time, this is gonna be the fifth, fifth time. So. The market has been respecting, so it may be resisted. Um, yeah, so to be safer and until to to the to the descending trend line, I think the pips is really small, anyways. 
uh, pips is uh, yeah only twenty six pips. So I think it's I think it's just worth or it's better to just wait for the breakout. You know you don't have to wait for the close on the weekly, but at least wait for the close on the daily chart or four hour above the above the trend line and look for buy opportunities. So that's what I would recommend to do so. But yeah, once it breaks, I think the market goes up to 1.7386. And we have a potential, after the breakout, of potential pips of uh, 117 or 120 pips to trade. So yeah, let's see, pound CAD can be one of the best pairs. And also, I would like to mention about gold, because I do trade gold. Uh, recently, I haven't been, because gold has been too choppy, too range. But when I just open chart today, Gold seems to be very nice because it broke the resistance level. It's breaking that resistance level, 2007.73. And uh, it has been supported by the daily trend line like this. So, um, oh yeah, but looks like now it's retracing. Looks like this resistance level of 2007.3 has been so strong. So, yeah, before I do live stream, I, I saw that there was a breakout. It was breaking out, but now it's retracing. So let's see. Daily chart is bullish, four hours bullish too. So yeah, let's see if it continues bullish trend. If it does, I think this is going to be also one of the best markets. The target is now 2067.45. So finally, I may be able to trade gold this week or in the month of November. So we will see. So that completed my analysis on these markets. So now let me do a review on the fundamental news. So since we are towards the end of the month, we have a couple of big news. But let me see. Let me just put this week, apply. And uh, there you go. So um, yeah, let's see. So this week, Monday, today, we have one big news. ECB's President Lagarde's speech in Euro. And then Tuesday, we have a BO, a BOE's uh, Ramsden speech in UK. And also uh, RBA governor uh, block speech in Australia. And then also, oh, sorry, retail sales. Retail sales in Australia and also government speech in Australia. So both Australia, sorry. Yeah, there will be no, you know, uh, big news in the UK at this time in the Asian session. And again, tomorrow also, uh, ECB President Lagarde's speech in Euro. And Wednesday 29th, we have also monetary policy rate decision in New Zealand. So if you trade New Zealand pairs, you have to watch out. And uh, CPI in Germany, GDP annualized in the US, and also BOE's Governor Bailey speech in UK. Thursday 30s, we have uh, yeah, manufacturing PMI in China. I don't think this will affect the market, but just in case you can monitor and some Asian pairs, maybe AUD or JPY may be affected by this. So just in case. And retail sales in Germany, there are and also uh, harmonized CPI in Euro and core CPI, sorry, core personal consumption expenditures price index in the US also. And then uh, GDP analyzed in Canada too. Friday, we have uh, uh, one big news in China and also uh, in Switzerland, there will be GDP, uh, GDP uh, report and also uh, in Canada, there will be unemployment rate. And then in the US, there will be uh, manufacturing PMI and then also feature power speech. So we have a couple of big news, especially Thursday. Lots of big news. So watch out. Before the big news happens, stay away is my recommendation. Always come back after news because uh, we never know how the market moves at these news. So that completed my analysis. Um, so yeah, again, um, 
yeah, looks like the market start to be trending some of the forex pairs, but I found that the um in the month of in the month of um yeah October November has been quite challenging I guess so it has been very choppy, and you may not be able to capture you know any good pips. So I think this is really a tricky month these days, especially like uh, since this summer. Since this summer, the market has been very choppy. But uh, after these choppy markets, then there will be big trends. That's been a pattern based on my experience for the last 10 years. So never give up, keep trading, keep following rules and uh, make the losses small and expect the bigger reward. That's always important to keep surviving on these markets. Okay, so that completed my analysis. Again, uh, I'm sorry, I have been a bit sick these days. I got the flu. So today is better, but uh, I hope I will be recovering soon. So uh, I hope you all well. Health is the most important as always. So uh, I hope you and around you will be healthy and safe and stay gold. Okay, bye for now. Matane, thank you very much.